Welcome everyone to Lafayette Bridge. My name is Noraida Negron. I'm the information manager for the city of Laredo and it's my pleasure to be the MC this afternoon. For this afternoon's ribbon cutting, this is an amazing project. Before we begin, I would like to introduce important guests that we have with us this afternoon. Of course, first and foremost, our council member for this district, District 8, the Honorable Alisa Cigarroa. Constable for this precinct, Precinct 1, the Honorable Guadalupe Gomez. Representing the city of Laredo, our city manager, Mr. Joseph Neb. Our assistant city manager, Mr. Jose Valdez Jr. Our city engineer, Mr. Ramon Chavez. Our health department director, Dr. Richard Chamberlain. Parks and Recreations Department Assistant Director, Ms. Anita Stanley. And we also have the Parks and Recreations Board Member, Mr. Victor Vasquez. Thank you all for being here. We're here to celebrate the Lafayette Overpass Art Project. This project represents culture and it's a celebration for the entire community. The City of Laredo, in collaboration with Up Art Studio, made this project possible. With two years of planning and two months of implementation, we now gather here to, uh, to celebrate this 30,000 square foot mural on 17 columns spanning over six blocks. It's absolutely amazing. Today, we gather to celebrate a remarkable achievement in our community, so please help me welcome District a council member, the Honorable Alisa Cigarroa, to the podium as you tell us more about this vision that it came true. Welcome everyone, and thank you for joining us to celebrate this extraordinary public art project. Before I ran for council, my heart and soul were devoted to the arts and painting. I have seen how the arts can breathe new life into communities and transform lives. Sadly, the arts often face criticism and funds, funding cuts, even though their impact is profound. Research has shown that investing in the arts plays an immense role on our mental health. According to the Texas Cultural Trust, attending just one cultural event a month reduces the risk of developing depression by 48%. And this statistic alone should make us pause and reflect on the transformative potential of the arts in public spaces, fostering a sense of community and security, which ultimately contributes to safer streets. When I first walked these streets four years ago, I met residents who were disheartened by the state of this bridge and reluctant to bring their children to the nearby parks. As I studied the area and the city's investments along the blocks beneath the bridge, it was clear that the parks felt fragmented, dark, and abandoned. The bridge had the potential to tie all the parks together, and so began a, this bold vision to unify this space and create a vibrant, cohesive community, space by transforming the bridge through the arts. After two years of meticulous planning and two months of dedicated implementation, we now stand before this breathtaking 30,000 square foot mural on 17 columns spanning over six blocks. This vibrant transformative public art project embodies our collective spirit and celebrates the culture richness of our community. Each design element carries deep meaning and a unique story. We celebrate today alongside the volunteers that, that painted the finishing touches of this immense project led by our artists. Thank you for being a part of this epic moment for Laredo and taking pride in your community. I want to extend my heartfelt thanks to all of the city departments, our city manager, and especially Rosario Cabello and Joe Valdez for stepping out of our, their comfort zones and helping us realize this remarkable landmark for our city and for the West End. A special thank you to Up Art Studios for believing in this vision with me and making it a reality. To our lead artists, Frank and Serti, your incredible talent and mentorship of, of our local artists, Alex Barron and Gil Rocha, have been invaluable. 
Thank you to Pedro, Josh, and, C and Simi for infusing this project with your heart and positive energy. To Alex and Heel, both of our local artists have transformed Canta Ranas and Los Amores in such a tangible way. Their passion and dedication have made us incredibly proud, and I know they will share what they have learned throughout this experience and continue to cultivate our artistic community with their knowledge and experience. This day belongs to them and the, the neighborhoods and to this community. And both Alex and Heel deserve to be celebrated. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you, council member. As she mentioned, one of the project managers um, to make this a reality later on uh, throughout the process was our assistant city manager, Mr. Jose Valdez. So we're gonna ask him to please join us up here too. Thank you very much. Um, it's, it's a pleasure and an honor to be here today. I, I grew up in these areas in the Cantarranas. My grandfather lived about two blocks away from here. Uh, I roamed the streets around here, and, uh, and we used to live about five blocks that way in Los Amores, so anytime we have improvements in the district, it, it's something that, as a former resident of this area, we appreciate. And the vision council member has is a tremendous one. I know that Apart, they recently were recognized for uh, community uh, art at, at the national level, and so we're hoping that this will get recognized in the future, because this is a very unique project that Council Member Cigarroa had had this vision, which myself was like, okay, we're gonna do some art. Okay, I don't know what this is about, but you know, I had an opportunity to eventually get involved, and I got involved, and I know it wasn't easy. Uh, it's two years, two months to implement it, but those two months were a long two months. As uh, Ramon here with Engineering Department played a tremendous part in this also. Uh, and I, I think I was here almost every day, if not every other day, just in the mornings, in the afternoons, in the evenings, trying to make sure that this, you know, her, her vision was implemented. And so it came out tr tremendously beautiful for the neighborhood. Uh, again, I used to represent this area as a former council member, and so we put a lot of these you know, things here, but I think this, as a council member mentioned, ties everything together. It's a linear park. That's what it was initially, and now it's more of a park. And so this is, the art again, touches and, 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 and ties everything together. So I wanna congratulate you council member on your vision and implementing this. And, and I know that these are few of, of, well, this is one of many projects that she's doing for the neighborhood. So I wanna commend her on that. If you please accompany me and <laughs> congratulate her. Yay. Tremendous job for this vision. You know, I didn't wanna speak because I normally I'm shy from speaking, but when I get the mic, I fall back into my old robe. But no, again, you know, this is just one of many things that she's doing in this area. Uh, I think there's going to be stations for exercise in this area. We're trying to put netting up for the birds. We love the birds, but not in this general area right now. And so we're working on, she's working on several projects. And so I'm just happy that I had a little grain of salt to try to help her vision come through. So congratulations, council member. Thank you very much. Another key uh, component of this project was the City of Laredo Parks and Recreations Department. They were instrumental in this project too. They were, there were long hours when staff made sure that the columns were prepped for the artists as well. So please help me welcome Assistant Director of Parks and Recreations Department, Anita Stanley. Thank you, Noraida. This project is definitely a very unique one. Uh, this was a, embraced by the entire department because the entire department actually had a hand in it to prep to uh, doing work that we weren't used to. But as I look around, I see the growth in this park area. You've got different components. The artwork that I look at is not only a backdrop, it's actually part of, it's, it's a, a major part of this park and so I think the people in this area will be able to not only enjoy the park, the splash pad, which I'm sure we all wish we were part of right now, 
and uh, the other components, the basketball court, the, the playgrounds. And so the only thing I am gonna ask our community is please help us to protect this beautiful piece of art, this artwork, this whole park, so that it lasts as long as the paint does. So thank you very much, Councilwoman. We love all of the progress that you're doing in this area. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Sandy. Um, this project create, uh, needed a lot of coordination, like we mentioned before. Um, and the city engineering department helped with that as well. So please help me welcome our city engineer, Mr. Ramon Chavez. Uh, thank you and good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for, for being here. Uh, as I was mentioned earlier, this project uh, is unique, uh, not only for the community, but uh, also for myself. Sorry. Yeah. This project, as I was mentioning, it's, uh, it's unique, not only for, for the community, but for myself as well. Uh, a lot of coordination involved, a lot of uh, pre-development meetings at the corner of Santa Rita in Lafayette, just there as a group with, I mean, I can, I can mention all departments, but it's just a team effort uh, putting these projects uh, together. Typically, I'm involved on ribbon cutting ceremonies for uh, pavement improvements, street projects, or drainage, but being part of this ha has been a, a true success. Uh, even meeting on Monday with Union Pacific uh, to take care of the last two columns and getting them done this week. It's been great working with Elia and with Noah. Uh, tremendous job, and I just want to thank everybody and congratulations to all our departments. Thank you. Thank you. Now, the Lafayette Art Project uh, stands as a vibrant representation of our culture and a true celebration of everyone. This incredible mural brought to life by the city of Laredo um, in collaboration, like we mentioned, with Up Art Studio is the result of this meticulous planning that we mentioned before. So please help me welcome Elia Aquiles, co-founder and principal of Up Art Studio, to tell us more about this amazing project and what they were able to do. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank um, all the councilmen for being here, Mr. Nib. Joe Valdez, my new mentor. As he said, he was here every other day. He literally was. Uh, Mr. Chavez, thank you for, for everything. And Anita, wow, what, a, what an effort your department has really put into it. So that all being said, good afternoon, everyone. I'm honored to be here today to celebrate the completion of the Lafayette over, Overpass mural. I'm Noah Aquiles, as you already know. This is my wife, Elia. And our mission is civic pride to civic art, where we aim to uh, educate, move, and engage people through public art, utilizing psychology color to make people happy. And that is something that I do believe we have achieved. <clears throat> you know, this project has a, a special meaning for me. My mother happens to be here. Um, she flew in from Chicago. Uh, she's, uh, she's born in Laredo. I got my aunt back there as well. Raise your hands, ladies. <laughs> yep. That, that's the lady you have to blame for, uh, for, <laughs> for, for raising me. And, uh, and, and honestly, thank you, Mom. Te quiero mucho. So the, the truth is, this extraordinary project not only beautifies the city, also highlights the rich, Laredo's cult, the rich Laredo culture and heritage. The Lafayette Overpass mural is a vibrant celebration of the community, culture, heritage inspired by the beloved game Loteria. The mural features larger-than-life depictions of traditional Loteria cards, and intricate patterns of a papel picado, the Mexican textile designs, bringing the mural to life with bright, vivid colors. Now, usually I don't read off, off of this because I speak from the heart. And the one, the one thing that I will say is that this project, yes, it took two years of planning, two months of implementation, but it's going to last for decades. And that's, and that's the one thing that we want to do. And, and achieving our mission of civic pride and civic art, where we educate, move, and engage those in the public and for the community. I like to say that this is not just our art studio's project or, or Alyssa's project. This is the people's project. So uh, I'd like to just introduce my wife. 
Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much. First and foremost, we'd like to extend a heartfelt thank you to the city of Laredo, and especially to Councilmember Elisa Cigarroa, whose vision and unwavering support have been the cornerstone of our success. Your commitment and love for the community have carried this project forward, making it a true collaboration. And your wonderful assistant, Esmeralda Estrada, uh, now Noah, she's now Noah's prima, um, she was always there to support the project as well. And I'd also like to extend my deep appreciation to the various city departments for their invaluable contributions, including engineering, who led the project on the city side, Parks and Rec, who undertook a Herculean effort to power wash the surface, as well as help with many other logistical efforts, environmental, environmental services, who helped us dispose of waste, Laredo PD, who kept us safe, and yes, even traffic and signals, who were there to support. Thank you, Jimmy. Each department played a pivotal role, and this mural wouldn't be possible without your collective efforts. We are also immensely grateful to Mr. Neb, the city manager, and to Joe Valdez, uh, assistant city manager, city secretary, um, and also Mr. Valdez was Noah's personal hotline, crisis hotline. Um, Ramon Chavez, coaches JJ Gomez and Tommy Ramirez, Anita Stanley, John Stiller from Parks and Rec, your support and guidance have been instrumental in keeping the project moving forward. And there were many, so many other staff that helped in this endeavor, like Guadalupe Morin, Elizabeth Carrera, and too many others to name. A special thank you to our local partners at Webb County for their support. You provided a crucial central hub for our supplies and equipment. And Laredo PD kept them safe and observed at all times through their mobile watchtower. Thank you to Lieutenant Romy Mutak and other police officers who worked closely with us. Uh, we also extend our deepest gratitude to the volunteers and partners from Keep Laredo Beautiful. Your dedication to maintaining our, uh, the city's beauty and your invaluable assistance in this project were vital. Uh, the effort you put into helping us paint the final touches on the mural and the bollards here you see um, and supporting the project has made a significant difference. So thank you for being such wonderful stewards of our community. Um, we would like to send a special thank you to local artists, Gil Rocha and Alexander Barron, whose incredible local talents and dedication helped bring this mural to life. The mural highlights the neighborhoods of Cantarranas and Los Amores, depicted by the singing frog and El Corazón, celebrating the unique identities and stories of these local areas. A special thanks to the residents of these neighborhoods for being our inspiration and for engaging with our team on the design of the project. We hope that you will enjoy the artwork in your neighborhood for decades to come. Uh, the warm reception from the community has been very heartwarming. Uh, the conversations with locals expressing their gratitude have been incredibly encouraging and rewarding uh, to Mr. Ray, who led us into his home uh, of this underpass as well. Uh, now let me introduce our phenomenal team of artists uh, curated by NOAA for their diverse and professional skill set. Uh, are they here? Yes, Frank. Frank Nathan is here. Okay, Frank Nathan. Lead artist, lead designer, on-site project manager. He's an artist from Houston with a background from Parsons School of Design in New York. He combines his love for street art and fashion into unique installations for various clients. Um, and it was his overall vision um, that you see here on these walls. Um, there was Alexander Serti. He was a lead artist, resident of Houston, Texas, original, originally from Paris, France. Uh, we had Jesus Simi Alvarado from El Paso, renowned for his dynamic murals reflecting border culture and community participation. Gil Rocha, a seasoned artist, former educator based in Laredo, known for his vibrant storytelling and deep community engagement. And Alexander Barron, a Laredo native whose murals resonate with themes of youth, family, and camaraderie. There was also Josh Nelson, an artist, graffiti artist from Denver, Colorado, who helped with the production. Pedro Campos, who was a production extraordinaire and artist in his own right. His expertise added a significant depth to our team's dynamic. And last but not least, Noah Aquiles, field director, street art curator, my partner and co-founder of UpArt Studio, whose dedication to our projects is unwavering. His leadership and technical assistance have been instrumental in the success of this project. So the journey to this day wasn't without its challenges. We faced working uh, on an immense surface, the largest any of us had ever worked on, and the complexities of working with Union Pacific were challenging. Um, a notable aspect of this project was using Kime paint, which is a mineral silicate paint, which was a new territory for some of our team members. 
Uh, despite the learning curve, they adapted with remarkable speed and skill. And the fruit of their labor is this beautiful mural, a testament to their talent and dedica dedication, which will adorn the city of Laredo with its beauty for more than two decades. So in conclusion, this mural is not just a piece of art. It's a celebration of Laredo's heritage, culture, and community spirit. Every brushstroke tells the story of collaboration, resilience, and unity. And we want to reiterate our gratitude to everyone who played a role, um, who played a part in making this dream a reality. So as we uplift the Cantarranas in Los Amores neighborhoods, let's cherish this mural as a symbol of Laredo's pride and identity. Um, and so next, I want to invite Frank and Alex to also say a few words. First and foremost, I want to thank the uh, city of Laredo for being so. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank the city of Laredo for being so uh, welcoming, welcoming and hospitable. We really appreciate it. Um, I also want to thank all the other artists involved, especially Alex and he, the local artists. They were just phenomenal to work with. Um, and you know, also for uh, an artist like me, you know, creating something at this scale is definitely a dream come true. And uh, I definitely want to thank uh, Councilwoman Cigaroa for allowing me to be a part of your vision. I'm very honored and humbled, and uh, I can't wait to come back and um, hang out with you guys again. <laughs> Alex. That's it, Alex. How are you guys doing? So uh, we've been painting all day, so I did not prepare anything, and I'm up here against my will. So, uh, but, you know, I'm just going to freestyle it. Um, so... First and foremost, I want to thank God, you know, for the blessing to, you know, be on this project. Noah and Elia of Art Studio, Frank, who I consider now a bit of a mentor. Um, uh, yeah, like to be a part of something um, that this of this magnitude of this scale is, you know, legendary, to be honest. And um, you know, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Um, it was challenging, it didn't come without its challenges, you know, long days, long nights, everybody, you know, sweating and bleeding and whatnot. So to me, this tells a little bit more of that story than, you know, adding on to the, to the culture side of it. Um, but yeah, you know, if I'm forgetting anybody, thank you, Alyssa Cigarroa, the city of Laredo. Like I said, these guys, and I gotta give a lot of credit to the guys that aren't here. Uh, I think all the credit should, a lot of credit should go to them, the ones that were walking this floor with me day in and day out for two months. Uh, Serdi, Nice, Simi from El Paso, uh, Pedro, this dude, uh, Noah, Elia, you know. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we did Laredo proud. Thank you. I'd like to mention there was no bleeding, it was metaphorically. <laughs> but uh, thank you everyone.